Hi, welcome to my home. I'm Chef Carl. I'm the food whisperer. Oh yes, and uh, today we'll be giving you the bird. I mean, we'll be making tur roast turkey. Chef Carl, food whisperer, taking the mystery out of cooking. All right, we're here in my kitchen. We're gonna show, I'll show you how to start the turkey's been thawed. I got a small turkey because it, on time factors and it's easier for me to handle. So I'm going to cut the bag off. You want to do this by the sink. Now, you see this. This is a one pound of gravy fat inside the turkey. Try to look for an old gravy packet. It says it on the label whether it has it or not. And if you have a fresh turkey, you won't have it in there. So I'm going to put that on the side. Now I'm not washing my hands. I washed my hands. But I don't wear gloves because I have soapy water and sanitizer here. So you want to do this near the sink because you can see a lot of liquid in there. Okay. Now, inside the turkey, I put some water and stock in here, but you get the neck. I'm going to cut the stuff off the gizzard, the hearts, lungs, what not lungs, whatever. Alright, now I'm going to rinse it out, but inside here, once you get the legs out, you have this plastic stay. And I'm going to try to lift this up. I pull this out. Now I'm going to rinse out the turkey. I gotta get one of those because there's old blood in there. Alright, this side too. So today we're gonna do a, a stuffed turkey with dressing, stuffing. And yes, it's not just for Thanksgiving or Christmas. And you can use the dressing we made earlier for uh, any meal. So what I like to do. Try not to cut myself. Trim off the fat. Sounds like I'm working for the government. And I'll put this in my stock pot. Now I'm going to inject the turkey with a chicken spot, or I can give you a flu shot. It's your choice. But what I do. People always say they can't get the thigh meat cooked evenly with the, the breast meat. So if you cut right between the leg and the thigh and the breast, it opens up and it's like spread eagle, whatever that is. So anyway, I put some chicken stock or a marinade, whatever you like to use. And when you're doing this, put the plunger down. You can get these plungers at any you know, Target, any restaurant supply. They range between like $3 and $20, so you don't need a $50 or three. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. Make sure that's in there, now watch. Oh, look at that. In the leg. See how it's rising up? Wow. And you do this for the whole turkey. I'm not going to do the whole bird because I, I got a, something else I'm going to be doing. But you do the legs, the thighs. This is a dressing we made earlier. And yes, the hands are clean. Don't overstuff the turkey because that's what happens then. It's, it can't cook through and then that's when people get sick. You could always put a little of this stuffing on a side, in a side pan. But what I always do, this has got a lovely place, put a hide out here. I push that up in there, in the neck. 
You can probably put a couple cups. And then kind of tuck it back in, whatever you can do. Now you can season whatever you want. Some people put margarine and butter underneath the skin. And I just make I just spray the whole thing with olive oil, butter, oil. You can't eat the very tips of this anyway. So I cut the tips off. I use that for the stock. Yes, that's my hounds in the background. They're hungry. They want some turkey. There we go. Remember, it's a marathon, not a race. So uh, this morning, I started a turkey same size at uh, 290 for about an hour and a half, uncovered, and then I kicked it up to 350, and then I kicked it up to 395. So I cooked it for a total of about three and a half to four hours. I got 160 in the thigh, 160 in the breast, 155, and that's, I have it covered. So we're going to put this one on the side. Alright, well, I'm going to take this one out the oven. Nice, and it's cooked. Still bouncy. So, the first thing I'm going to do is drop the thigh and the leg. And you can see that meat's just shredding. It's beautifully cooked. But what I wanted to do. You can see the nice juice. Beautiful tender. This meat just falling off the bone. Look at that. When you're hot, you're hot. So we can slice that up like this. I like dark meat, but you know, that's why you get a whole turkey. I usually take the whole breast off. on the side. So I'm going to make a little platter, light meat and dark meat. Put a little baked potato. Sweet potato. Butter. Butter. And 
course, took some of the stock. And I always mix it with a little beef gravy because beef gravy is nice and dark. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna, we're going to taste this. Now first I'm going to show you the platter. It's mm. the easiest to get. Mm. Mm. Oh mama. Delicious. Mm. I think I'll cook three more turkeys. Mmm, man. Okay. Makes me want to do a happy dance. Woohoo! So, this is Chef Carl. I, I hope I didn't tie you up too long. And again, I'm the Food Whisperer, and it's saying thanks for stopping by. Come back again and join us. We're going to do some holiday appetizers and much, much more in the future. So, adios, goodbye, hello, I think.